Hi, Reverend Lunch Lady here. I'm so glad you're here. I am here to share with you a special tip. And if we haven't met yet, um, I am the founder of Love Muffin, which is a private coaching program for single women who want to create what I like to call unicorn love, which is the kind of relationship you never thought could exist, but it does. And and the founder of Big Happy Love. So you can always go to bighappylove.com to check things out. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, do so because I offer tips and different videos all the time. And today I'm actually recording this on Halloween. And I was thinking this morning, okay, you know, what is the spookiest thing that gets you know, single women kind of stuck. Like the spookiest thing that keeps women from actually creating what they truly desire. And first of all, I'm gonna talk about, you know, what is possible when you're beyond that. And I'll let you know what that thing is soon. But when we're talking about unicorn kind of love, which is that kind of love you never thought could exist, this is something that is really beyond this reality. This is something that is not based on our past. It's really um, something that is co-created with another person. And it, it generally doesn't look like anything that we've seen before. And not that you don't get information about what you like and what you value throughout your life, but this kind of relationship is far greater. And in order to do that, you have to have sort of this like unicorn mindset. You have to be able to have the awareness of what it is that you are putting out into the world but also have the ability to receive so much more than you've probably ever received before. And that is definitely something that is learned. So generally, and I would say, I haven't met anyone yet who has come into this world knowing naturally everything about how to create a really happy, healthy, loving relationship. Why? Because we don't learn it. We aren't taught that specifically. Generally, we're picking up from what we observe, you know, what, we've, what we decide about things as we're, you know, growing up and and certainly as a child when we aren't even able to kind of compute what's happening, we make things up about, oh, this is what it means. Oh, you know, my dad and mom split up when I was young. That means that there's something wrong with me. Like we start collecting a lot of that kind of stuff. So, so relationship is not something that is just natural to us although we pretend like it is. And in dating, we just wing it and hope for the best, like throwing spaghetti against the wall and hoping it sticks. That's typically what I see people doing. And certainly um, that can be really painful because one of the things we long for so much is to have that connection to be seen to be heard to be be able to share your life with someone so if you are here and you know that you want something greater that you want that kind of unicorn love relationship then keep listening because the spookiest thing that i see that keeps us from all that is doubt and that is self-doubt that is doubt in the universe it's doubt that what you want can happen and so much of the time we just live with doubt we're not even questioning it we just sense that mm, maybe this can't happen and oftentimes we even invite it because 
we think, well, at least if I'm kind of preparing myself in case things don't work out, then, you know, it'll hurt less somehow. So we're trying to like preempt the disappointment or something. And that doesn't work because it hurts just as much. So when we are not aware of how much doubt we are living with, when we're like partnering with doubt in our dating game or even in um, any part of our life really, but um, in dating, like if we have doubt that, you know, maybe I'm not good enough or maybe I'm not ready or maybe the person doesn't exist or, you know, maybe I'm too late or maybe I'm too old or whatever form of doubt that is, then we are basically turning off the flow of receiving something greater. And I know that sounds kind of harsh, but it's true. And so how do we get beyond that? Well, certainly, you know, like I said earlier, we can learn how to do things differently. And in my Love Muffin coaching program, not only do I do a lot of teaching, but I also, you know, really bring in the tools that go underneath doubt and unplug all of the different kind of stories and traumas and wounds that we've collected that make um, doubt stay alive in our world. And so one of the processes is called regenerating images and memory. It's been, it was a process created by a woman named Dr. Deb Sandella, and I've studied with her for several years and even done some research on it and shown that this is one of the most powerful ways that that people can accelerate through doubt and fears and move into a space of confidence and basically in that place of being able to be you and to trust yourself and to be in a place where you can move beyond because you know the doubt wherever it's being fed from the insecurities the fears when it stays alive it basically just keeps you in one place or it keeps you kind of stuck in a past experience and when we're always kind of referencing oh well this is why it can't happen this is why it can't happen this is probably why it won't happen we're always kind of referencing something in the world that you know becomes evidence for why you are valid in being in doubt, then that's where you stay. So I'm inviting you to know, to be able to take some steps to move beyond that. And that is one way that you can, is when you have a you know plan, when you have a personalized plan, when you can be able to live in this unicorn love mindset that keeps you moving beyond the past, beyond the pain, beyond the fears, and in a place where infinite possibility lives. So if you have any sense that you want to share your life with someone or that you desire a certain experience in love, in relationship, then what I can tell you is it lives over there. It lives in this space of infinite possibility. And that's what I'm inviting you to step into. So if you are wanting unicorn love, then I'm inviting you to reach out to me and set up a time to talk about how you can have it. Because today I call these like clearing the ghosts of love sessions or happy and love sessions where we can really um, look at what's happening for you. And, you know, personally, you have your own experience. So, you know, what is in the way of you having the relationship you want? And how do you create a vision and a plan that is personal for you and matches who you are? And, you know, what it would take to you know, really become all of that 
in the next six to 12 months so that you can have that kind of relationship in the next six to 12 months that you have always dreamed about. So if that's something that you're serious about and you really want to end this decade and leave these fears and doubts behind, I highly recommend that we have a conversation. This wouldn't be for you if the, a couple things are true. If you, find, if you really are committed to your story and you're stuck in sort of that, like nothing will ever work for me place and that's kind of your story, then, um, then this probably wouldn't be a good thing for you. If you um, or do not value personal development, if you don't really like, you know, being a little uncomfortable and creating change in your life so that you can have a different result, then this may not be for you. And you have to be someone who really does value doing that kind of personal development and transformation. So I'm going to put the link um, somewhere here, probably below, um, so that you can set up a session with me and I'd love to meet you and look at what's happening for you so that you can have something different. So thanks for listening. Can't wait to meet you. Talk to you soon. Bye.